Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today in this episode, we are going to talk about how to create family types in a parametric family environment. Let's begin. In the last three episodes, we learned about how to create a parametric table family. Today, we are going to learn about how to create a family types within the family environment so that you don't have to load this family into the project and go through the labor of duplicate, duplicate and duplicate to create new additional types. I'm inside my parametric family. And if you go into this family type dialog box, you'll see that we have a few parameters already created, like height, length, thickness, width, and materials. We, we can always come to these parameters, change its values in order to change the model geometry. So that's the advantage of creating a parametric family. You can create n number of combinations by simply changing the information in the parameters. Here, we want to create new family types that can be preloaded when you load the family into the project. So I'm going to create a new type from here. And I'm going to say, let's create a first type as 1200 by 600 by 900 height. So let's change the length to 1200, width to 600 and height to 900. I'm going to apply that. Now let's create a new one more type, 1500 by 500 by 900. So let's change the length to 1500, width to 500. The height is already 900. I'm going to apply. So let's create one more type. So we have three family types that are, should be preloaded when we load this family into the project. So let's go ahead and create 1500 by 600 by 1000. So I'm going to change my width to 600, height to 1000, and I'm going to apply. So, so now in my drop down menu, I can see that there are three family types already available into my family here. Let's load this family into the project. Here, in this combination, you can see here that these three types that we already created within the family environment are already preloaded. So I can simply come here, select the family type, and create an instance for it. That does not mean that you only have three types available to you for this table. You can always come back to edit type, duplicate, and create your own new custom size if needed. In the next episode, we are going to learn about how to create a parametric door family. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.